look goofy. All right, so the time has come. We've got so we're gonna pick up in the garage. <laughs> we're gonna finally uh, get rid of this 22R. I've been kind of abusing this thing over the past year, but finally getting around to putting this one UZ in here. It's kind of dirty. It's been sitting, but yeah, we're gonna try to do an engine swap. So we got braid in here, and right now we're just gonna try to pull this engine. We're gonna drain some coolant. What the f All right, go ahead. Make sure you get the coolant out of your 22R. <laughs> so, here we are. We've got everything, we've got almost everything disconnected. All the fuel stuff, all the coolant lines, and we got the bell housing bolts out, and then the engine mount bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and try to jack this thing up and see what we forgot to disconnect. <laughs> We actually left one of the bolts to the header on. I think that was my fault, but we should be able to pull it out now. Oh yeah, uh, that would be yes. We might be chilling right there. Should be good right there. All right. Okay. Nice. Here's that 22R. This clutch is basically brand new. I probably have like a thousand miles on this clutch. Oh yeah, like how many clutch kicks do you have on that clutch, buddy? 80 million. There is a hose clamp in your bell housing. I'm just curious how long that hose clamp is there. We're gonna be doing a giveaway on this hose clamp, so enter, <laughs> enter down below. Here's a better shot of the, um, the uh, rack conversion kit. Boom, boom, yep. Replaces that whole cross member and then bolts right up. If you want it, go to stabfab.com. I mean, that's the easy part, though, taking the engine out. Yeah. The hard part's gonna be putting the other engine in. I'd like to get a freaking beefy five-layer burrito. Me too. Grilled. All right. That's day one. Hey, so it's been a little bit since the last clip. I'm not really sure where we left off, but this is where we are right now. I've got the uh, engine out of the engine bay, and I've got basically the whole front end torn apart. Just wanna get you guys up to speed with what I'm thinking here. I um, This truck was severely wrecked when I got it, so the front apron is just all mangled up and bent, and I kinda just pulled it out as much as I could to get the front end on, but um, I wanna get rid of this, this sheet metal. So that's, that's one side done. Front end's all cut up and loose, so all we have to do is just undo these two bolts in the front and pull this full front clip off. All right. And this ends up being removable. It looks like we're gonna have a lot of room to work around this engine, so I like the looks of this. So this is the isolator we're using. So to make room for our custom engine mount, we're gonna go ahead and cut the original engine mount brackets off the frame. And then we're gonna clean it all up and then make our own that stem off of here for the new engine. So the uh, OEM engine mount brackets on the frame are all cut off. So we have the new uh, paper template in there for the new brackets and um, this is made out of some, some paper. And then I went ahead and cut it out, traced it with the paper template, got both these cut out, and then I've marked my hole where I wanna drill and then go ahead and drill it and then mock it up. It's bolted in. Wanted to get another uh, height check. So I bolted these fenders on roughly. It's hard to tell. I did mock up the hood on here, but the hood will clear. This is a little tall, but hood's probably got about like an inch or so of room. So let's show you guys inside. 
and the transmission in here, the shifter. Pretty smack dab in the middle. This transmission came out of an 05 two-wheel drive Tacoma, so it's just a five-speed. It's an R-series, so should be pretty strong. Plenty strong enough for the one you see, but... So it looks like this is generally where it's gonna sit. So, um, with the stock engine mounts on here, it makes us only... We only have to fab the bottom. So, that's about what we're working with. I know that I'm gonna have some clearancing issues with the steering shaft and the header. I'm gonna have to get creative. I think I'll be able to go around it, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm gonna go ahead and try to tack these guys up and then we'll see what's going on. Oh shoot. I just ripped my coveralls. That sucks, okay. So in the last clip I tacked up these engine mounts, now I got them all welded in. I'm not going to paint them because I'm going to take the engine out again, but for now I'm going to put the engine in um, and then we're going to let it rest on its own weight for the first time and then we're going to go from there. 